If you like our video, click the button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides, visit us at www.teachucomp.com. You can add 3D media to PDF documents in Acrobat. However, as a security measure, 3D content is disabled by default when viewing it in Acrobat, and your PDF's viewers must enable it to view the content. This is something to consider before inserting 3D media into a PDF. Acrobat can import U3D 3rd Edition or PRC 3D media files. To add 3D media to a PDF in Acrobat, either click the Edit a PDF link in the All Tools panel, or click the Edit link in the top bar to show the Edit panel at the left side of the screen. If needed to expand the list and show all the content choices, click the More link under the Add Content section in the Edit panel. Then click the 3D Media button in the Edit panel. Then use your mouse pointer cursor, which appears as a crosshair when held over the PDF page, to click and drag over the area within the page where you want the 3D Media file to appear. As you click and drag, a blue box shows its border. When you release the mouse button, the Insert 3D dialog box launches. Click the Browse button at the right end of the File field to open the Select a File dialog box. Use this dialog box to find the 3D file, click it to select it, and then click the Open button to return to the Insert 3D dialog box. The name of the selected 3D file and its pathway then appears in the File field. To show advanced 3D options on tabs at the bottom of the Insert 3D dialog box, check the Show Advanced Options checkbox below the File field. The Launch Settings tab shows the same settings available as when inserting a video or sound file, which we covered in the previous lesson, so we will not review them for brevity's sake. To apply settings for the 3D object's initial view and display, click the 3D tab. To select a background color for the 3D canvas display, click the background color box in the default display settings section and then choose a color from the dropdown. To set the default display lighting, select a choice from the lighting scheme dropdown. To set the default 3D rendering style, select a choice from the Rendering Style drop-down. To set a default 3D animation style, select a choice from the Animation Style drop-down. To add default views, check the Add Default Views checkbox in the Navigation section, and then select a set of default views from the adjacent drop-down. If available to retain views, comments, and scripts in the display, check the Retain Views, Comments, and Scripts checkbox. To show a toolbar that lets the user change the 3D object's display in the PDF, check the Show Toolbar checkbox. To show the 3D object's model tree, check the Open Model Tree checkbox. To add a default script to the 3D object, Click the Browse button in the Script section to open the Selected Default Script dialog box. Then use this dialog box to locate the JavaScript to run, select it, and then click the Open button in the dialog box to add the script to the script field. After setting any 3D display options you want, click the OK button in the Insert 3D dialog box to apply the settings and insert the 3D object into the PDF page. To edit or delete a 3D object in a PDF, click the 3D Media button in the Edit panel to activate it. Then click to select the 3D object in the PDF page. To move it, then click and drag it to a new location in the PDF page. To change its settings, 
right-click the 3D Media file, and choose the Properties command from the pop-up menu to open the Edit 3D dialog box where you can then change its options. These are the same options available as when initially adding the 3D Media file. To delete the 3D Media file if needed, click it to select it in the PDF after choosing the 3D Media button in the Edit panel, and then press the Delete key on your keyboard. Remember to click the subscribe button to see more of our videos. See our full suite of courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides at www.teachucomp.com.